In this video, we're going to be doing kind of a just a free little ebook for you out of the shotgun doubles formation. And I wanted to kind of use this as a backdrop to talk about what makes a good formation in Madden, first and foremost. Number two, how do you go about building a good offense? And number three, how do you actually put plays together in a scheme so that they actually fit versus just putting a bunch of money plays on the field. And so we're going to show you how to do that today out of the shotgun doubles formation in the New England Patriots playbook. This will pair very well with our uh, New England Patriots other formations that we have full ebooks on, like the trips tied in, like the U trips, like the bunch, like the eight slot offset. If you want to get access to all of those ebooks, uh, additional ebooks, get on into our patreon that's the best place for you to get better we release new ebooks in there a lot and we've got a ton of really good ones including like i said some of the ones i mentioned the trip side in ebook is really good and um, it really is in depth so if you want to get access to that that is all linked down below now what i'm going to do in this video is walk you through kind of a core method that i like to use for building an offense and really it's a couple of questions um, because really what it comes down to, whether you're talking about Madden in terms of offense or defense, really what you're looking for is can you solve certain problems that you know you're going to have? The first thing you need to be aware of is pass protection. How is your formation going to do in pass protection? So the doubles formation has some play action plays. It has some really good, um, it has some some really good um, tight uh, tight end uh, blocking plays where we can just block our tight end. We want to be able to be able to pick up all the main blitzes. So can your formation pick up the meta blitzes? Yes, our formation can. Gun doubles is really good at pass protection because it's got these play action plays. We know in Madden 22 that play action is really good. It's also really good in Madden 23. Also, we have tight end blocking plays. And another thing that I want to just say quickly about Madden 23 is running back blocking is a lot better. So you can pick up pressure just by blocking the running back. So those are some things that you need to be aware of. So can we pick up some of the main blitzes? The answer is yes. The second thing that we need to do, once we say we can pick up some pressure, the second most important thing that we can do, in my opinion, is say, do we have some of the critical things that we need to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage? I'll give you an example of a couple of things that are really helpful for beating man-to-man. -man. First is having a tight end and a running back. Why is having a tight end and running back effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage? because of the fact that they don't get jammed. That is really important. The second thing that we need, in my personal opinion, in order to beat man-to-man -man coverage at a high clip is some type of smart routed dig or crosser or post routes that beat man-to-man, -man, such as this play double out and up, such as this play PA shot post, uh, which is probably going to be our base play for this. You know, different plays that beat man-to-man. -man. Third, or the, the the fourth thing that I like to look at, we, we've got a, or the third thing, I apologize, we have a, a formation that can pick up pressure, we have a formation that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. The third thing that I like to look at is, do we have, can we attack the whole field with our formation? This is personally why I really like the gun doubles formation because we have outside receivers and we have post routes from both sides. We have this PA shot post, we have PA read. We also have corner routes from both sides, which is really important. Pat's Y Seema has a corner route to the left. Z spot has a corner route to the right. Y sale has a corner route to the right. So we're able to get to the, the, the hot spots, if you will, of a defense. Corner routes and post routes and dig routes are really important routes in my opinion. Deep crossing routes for sure. A lot of people at this point in the year have slot apprentice, so that's not as big of a deal, but I personally really think having deep post routes um, are really, really imperative. The fourth, uh, the, so the third thing is can we attack the whole totality of the field? And then the fourth thing is can we run the ball effectively? Well, we have one of the best shotgun runs in Madden, halfback quick base and inside zone both. So we have two of the best runs in the game. We also have a read option from our gun double. So we're gonna check that box off 
And then the last thing, um, honestly, kind of up to you, really a couple different things um, that you can look at. But really what I try to say is, can we, okay, so we can pick up pressure. Can we beat man to man? We can attack the whole field. We can use the whole field with the routes that they give us and the routes that we can create. And then we can run the ball. And then the last thing that I like to ask is, can we attack, um, do we have any kind of like unique routes? This deep post from PA Shot Post, a very unique post route. The fade on the right, really those fades from double out and up, really good. Um, things like that. Do we have unique routes that we can utilize? Under seams, another one. Um, the halfback angle play has this fade on the left side. So what are the unique routes in the formation? So from an audible perspective, as we kind of work through this, my favorite run is quick base. And what I like to say in my audibles is really, again, we want to be able to attack the whole field. That's the biggest thing. So I want to have a corner route to the right side of the field, ideally, and a corner route to the left side of the field in my audibles so that I can always flood zones on either side of the field. So I'm going to put uh, Pat's Y seam, halfback quick base, Y sail, and then I have PA read here. I could also put the out and up play. I could put um, under seams, another good one. Really kind of up to you what you want to put in here. Uh, for me, I'm probably going to put the uh, PA, uh, PA Pat seams or the PA read. And I'm going to probably just go with PA read here. And then my base play is going to be PA shot post. Why is this my base play? It's my base play because as two of my favorite, three of my favorite routes, a deep dig, a deep post, and a deep fade. And I'm going to give you a real simple setup for how to set this up. All we're going to do is we're just going to smart route our post and we're going to drag our tight end and we're going to snap the ball. That's it. And what we have is we have a nice little shallow cross series coming across here on this right side. One of my favorite routes. The other thing that we have with this is if you wanted to, what you could also do here is you could um, like slant circle and then flat the tight end. That's another concept or variation of this. But what you'll notice with this skinny post is it's a very deep skinny post. Now cover four is gonna bag me over the top, but we'll come back to that in just a second. So what I like to do is let's say we're in a cover three coverage. We can bomb this very easily. Um, let me give you another simple setup. We're gonna slant Randall Cobb, we're gonna dig our tight end, and we're gonna whip circle. Real simple concept, this will bomb cover three and cover two. And I'll show you how. You see how good this deep post is. See how long it runs. And you see there, almost got over the top. And again, I like to smart route it. But you see what I'm saying? We can kind of build. But basically, the shallow cross. And we have the Mills concept, if you will, off of this. So my first setup, just real simple. Come out, drag the tight end. I got a high-low over the middle of the field. Where does the user not guard? Where does the user not guard? Now, again, we talked about flooding zones. So if they're going to sit in the stock zone like this, I like to go to um, Pat's Y seam. And I'll show you the play art here. You see how we have this corner right on the left side. Now, a couple different options in terms of how we can utilize this. We can motion circle to the left and create a trips tight end. We could also just keep it simple and do a little scissors concept. Use our outside apprentice, Devontae Adams, put him on a post or just put him on a fade. And I think, you know, simple, put them on a fade. I've got this nice route to the tight end that does beat man. And I've got a table route to the running back. What I like to do with this is actually block my tight end. And then I'm going to backside dig my circle receiver here. And then from there, I'm going to either put my running back on an out. Or I'm going to put my running back on an in. And that's kind of up to you. If you don't want to block your tight end, you're not worried about pressure, you want to put your running back on out and you want to drag your tight end. So you see this is what it looks like, real simple. And then you'll see that this corner route is going to force them to have 30-yard zones. And that's why I like to have it. Because what you want to do in your offense is you want to force your opponent to have to guard the whole field. That's a really, really important piece. We can also use um, float motion, if you will, on this play to float um, to float our halfback to basically create Y sail to the other side so we could do something as simple as this right here and then just float him over here and as you can see this corner route will do a really good job 
at beating the zone and it forces them into having to play 30 yard clouds so what they have to have is a 30 yard cloud but they also have to have some kind of underneath zone to guard the running back so now we're going to play this game where we have to have an underneath zone on both sides remember i was talking about that so let's say that they put this guy in the purple and then they're going to use her this guy in the middle of the field okay let's just say something like this very fairly straightforward as we work through this you're going to see where the problem is going to start to come so now we're going to keep the it looks exact everything looks exactly the same but we're going to go to the play y sale and all we're going to do is on the back side here i like to just zig triangle and what you'll see is now they need a deep blue or a deep cloud over there so they can't cut see what i'm saying they can't cover everything so now they're in a position where they've got to play 30 yard cloud on the left 30 yard cloud on the right and now what i've got to do is i've got to put two purple zones out here so that i can cover those those plays and this is coming back to our base play now what you'll see is this concept is going to be difficult to defend with only two people in the middle of the field because of how good that post route is as you can see right there so you see kind of what we're able to do in terms of attacking the whole field we really only need a couple of key concepts um, to be able to do this effectively now another thing that i want to point out is when they start doing this this is called drop eight defense we're going to have one user in the middle of the field and you might say well okay so how do you attack just one user in the middle of the field it's actually really simple um and 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 what we're going to do here is we're just going to use a hitch to square and you might want to do this from a different play so maybe you want to go to uh, pa read for example and on this we're just going to use a hitch to square we're going to use a zig to Devonte adams and then on this back side here what i like to do is you could do kind of a couple different things couple different options i like to put my tight end on a smart routed in route put my outside receiver on an out route and put my running back on a streak or a wheel this is something real simple but this is going to attack the yellow zones and now the user can't uh, can't defend both sides so you see how we've kind of broken them down in all kinds of different directions and then the, the other piece of this is being able to consistently beat man to man i talked about it a little bit in the beginning here but this post route on the left side is one of the key routes this year for consistently beating man alongside of this in route to triangle so again we can build around this and just put our running back on an in route um, to the inside we know that gets a little bit better separation than our than our other guy would and then we could take this guy, backside guy and just put him on a slant and now we have man beaters all over the field that'll beat man that'll beat man that'll beat man as you can see and we're able to just shred man to man coverage from a basic setup that we've been talking about so we're able to not only attack the whole field we're also able to attack them in that direction as well now another thing that i like to talk about here is so now we've got to put our yellow zones back on the field so we can stop seam wheels right well again back to the chess match we're going back to our pats y seam we're going to streak Devonte adams this time we'll put uh, the tight end on a drag and we'll just do something like this well now there's no flat defender so my running back to the outside is going to be wide open for an easy 10 to 15 yards so you see how even in a drop eight defense we can break it down fairly fairly well now uh, i'm going to reset my zone drops here and i want to spend just a few minutes with you talking about beating uh beating pressure whenever your opponent likes to blitz and we'll just come back out in our base play and really it's not that difficult again depending on how much you want to how much you want to devote to pass protection most blitzes can be picked up this year by simply blocking your running back or your tight end via play action specifically if you're going to block your running back or just block your tight end but what you'll see here this is a cover two blitz and as you can see we're going to high low the yellow defender and now my drag my my drag in combo is really good um, another thing they could do here is they could shade their coverage down well if they shade their coverage down then you see that this fade on the right i can pass lead that to the right side i'm probably need probably need to be on the other hash mark but i do have that option uh available i could i could try to make that read or what i could also do is um just be a little bit more patient here i like to smart route this post be more patient my drag's still open my in route's open 
but now my post is also open over the top. So you see how we can kind of break the defense down in that way. And then another one of my favorite things to do, if they're gonna, if they're literally just gonna blitz the crap out of you, keep it really simple. We're gonna use a seam wheel to the running back with an out route to this outside receiver. That makes that read really difficult, or that play, uh, that makes that play really diff difficult to be able to use them. You gotta remember, they're gonna use her one of these two. So chances are they're gonna be using this guy. If they're going over to the running back, there's nobody in the middle of the field to be able to guard um, this dig when it comes underneath. So you see how that works. So these are just some basic kind of concepts, if you will, that I like to use whenever I'm putting together an offense. Um, it's the concepts that I've used in all of my eBooks. If you want to get my eBooks, the link is in the description below to join the Patreon. These are simple things that you can do and you can still run some of your core concepts. So let's say you want to run this PA read play. I think this is one of the best plays in the game. We're going to run PA read. We could put circle on a fade or leave him on a post. And now you see here, we can kind of, you know, use that crossing route and in route concept. Again, if you don't want to, you know, you might be like me and, and want a little bit more pass protection. Well, we'll just do this. This is very simple. And again, we're just going to flood the coverage, as you can see. So those are some simple ways that you can literally attack any defense that they're going to throw at you with relative ease. And, and, and again, I haven't even gotten into the part where we can motion this guy over here and create a trips set to that side. Or we could also do something I think that's pretty neat. We can create a quad set to this side. This is one of the other reasons why I really like doubles because now I can create concepts off of this. You know, so we could do a corner route um, and then a drag and then a max protect setup like this, pick up every pressure and now have one of the best bombs, bomb routes over the top. And again, the match coverage got me there, but you see what I'm kind of getting at. You can you can kind of take take one formation and turn it into three or four depending on how you do it. And then obviously you still have the ability to run the ball. So this is what makes a great offense in Madden and something that you can use going into 23. If you want to learn some of my offenses, you can get all of my Madden 22 eBooks. Um, and of course it comes with all of our updates for Madden 23. You get all of our eBooks by joining our Patreon for just 10 bucks unlocks everything you literally get it all for ten dollars if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below thanks for watching see you guys next time